General Sick Day Management for Type 1 Diabetes. Illness such as common cold, flu, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, infection, injury, surgery may elevate blood sugars. What to do? Check you or your child blood sugars more often at least four times a day for my illnesses. Every three to four hours for more severe illnesses. Check ketones if blood sugars are over 250 for two readings in a row. Drink plenty of caffeine-free, sugar-free fluids. About six to eight ounces every hour while awake to prevent dehydration. Drink small sips of fluid often rather than large amount all at once. If you or your child are unable to eat solid foods, alternate sugar-free fluid with fluid containing sugar the next hour. When to call your health care provider. If you or your child have any of the following, constant nausea or diarrhea, vomiting or unable to keep fluids down, blood sugars level over 250 for more than two readings and do not decrease with extra insulin. Ketones level are small or more on urine or over 0.6 millimole on blood. Sign of ketoacidosis, such as fruity breath, stomach pain, very dry skin, or breathing hard. Having low blood sugars level and unable to keep it up, or if you're unsure what to do. Do not stop taking your insulin. Insulin is needed even when you are sick or not eating. The insulin dose may need to be adjusted on sick days, but never skip an insulin dose entirely. If you are unsure of how much insulin to take, call the diabetes team during or after hours. When sick, keep this thing on hand in case you need it. Things that are, that are useful are such as sugar-free and regular gelatin, such as jello or popsicles, broad packets, saltine crackers, caffeine-free tea, carbonated beverages, sugar-free and regular. Substitute foods such as fruit juice boxes, applesauce, sherbet. You also need a thermometer and medicines recommended by your healthcare provider to relieve symptoms of cold, flu, pain, fever, or diarrhea. Also keep the telephone number of your diabetes care team. You will also need ketone strips for urine or blood for ketone testing. Please remember to check the expiration date on your ketone strips. Urine, keto, urine ketone strips are only good for six months once it's open, and blood ketone strips are generally good until expiration date. You will also need glucagon kit in case of severe low blood sugars. Remember to test your ketones and call the Johnson Center or your healthcare provider if the ketones is small or more on urine or over 0.6 on blood. But to test your ketones, this is a sample, this is an example of a urine keto sticks. It comes in a bottle and remember it's only good for six months once it's open. 
you would dip the urine keto sticks into the into a urine cup or fresh urine or pee right over the stick at exactly 15 seconds on the clock compare it to the legends on the bottle again levels more or more on the urine keto sticks need to be called your you need to call your health care provider This is what a blood ketone testing look like. It comes in individually packed with the meter test the ketones as if you were testing your blood sugars. The meter will give a number anything over 0.6 you need to call your health care provider. Thank you.